Hello guys, welcome back to Fun with Frank. In this video, we are looking at the top 10 cameras for YouTube vloggers. There are a lot of things to consider when choosing the best vlogging camera. With more choice than ever when it comes to creating video content, it can be tricky to zoom in on the right model. Before we get started, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Number 1. Sony ZV-1 The Canon G7X Mark III was our favorite compact vlogging camera for a long time, but it's been dethroned by the excellent Sony ZV-1. The ZV-1 really nails what most people want from a small vlogging camera by combining all of the best bits of Sony's RX100 series. For example, the RX100-7's microphone port and autofocus, as well as the RX100-5's bright 24-70mm f 1.8-2.8 lens. Sony's latest real-time tracking and IAF are the best around the ZV-1, also has a huge amount of depth for a compact camera, including a built-in ND filter in profiles like s log 2 for those who want to embrace color grading. We still think the Olympus OM-DE M5 Mark III's stabilization and image quality are better, but you won't find a finer pocket vlogging camera than the Sony ZV-1. Number 2. Panasonic Lumix GH6 Panasonic's second-generation GH5 was one of our favorite vlogging cameras, with plenty of creative potential in a small package. The GH6 outperforms it in almost every way. It has a sharper 25.2 megapixel micro four thirds sensor and can shoot 5.7K footage at 60fps. It also has a massive arsenal of formats, frame rates, and resolutions, including a larger selection of 10 bit mods. Enforced fan cooling allows for virtually unlimited recording times. When it is slightly larger than the GH5 Mark II, it is still a portable form factor. Its sturdy construction is complemented by familiar controls and new, tally lights on the front and back. The 3 inch rear touchscreen flips, twists, and tilts, and a new front facing video record button makes it easier for vloggers to get started. Although the connectivity options are extensive, the GH6 lacks the live streaming capabilities of the GH5 Mark II. There is still no phase detection AF, but contrast based autofocus performance appears to be improved over the GH5 Mark II. Stabilization is also improved, thanks to an algorithmic upgrade that makes the GH6 one of the best cameras for naturally smoothing out walking motion. Number 3. DJI Pocket 2 We love the original DJI Osmo Pocket, but this sequel eliminates many of its flaws, making it the best compact option for solo filmmakers. The Sony ZV-1 above is superior in terms of overall video quality, but if you frequently shoot walk-and-talk style clips to camera, the Pocket 2's combination of a 3-axis gimbal and solid face tracking may be more appealing. In comparison to the Osmo Pocket, which is still available as a less expensive alternative, the DJI Pocket 2 has a larger sensor a brighter lens, improved microphones, and a wider field of view. Which means you don't have to hold it out at arm's length when talking to the camera. It's on a tripod base or other flat surfaces, and it will turn to keep you in frame as you walk around in front of it. Despite the larger sensor, the Pocket 2 isn't the best camera for low light or high contrast scenes, but it's a significant improvement over using your phone in a gimbal, and the improved 4 mic audio setup means you get some very decent sound quality to match. Number 4. Fujifilm X-S10 The Fujifilm X-S10 is arguably the best all-around mirrorless camera at this price point, capable of a wide range of shooting techniques including vlogging. It's not the cheapest or smallest option in this guide. The Sony Z1 is a better compact option, but it's our current topic for video creators in terms of quality and value for money. When combined with the X-C15 45mm kit lens, you have a fantastic vlogging setup. On top of that, it has some great retro styling and a great comfortable grip, making it a great hybrid option for shooting stills as well. It is also reasonably priced, especially considering all of the features you get. But be warned, its wide range of great X-Series lenses may prove hard to resist. Number 5. Sony ZV-E10 Looking for a small vlogging camera that is more versatile than the Sony ZV-1 or DJI Pocket 2? The ZV-E10 may be your best option. It's based on the relatively old hardware of the Sony A600, hence the low price, but it packs a slew of video focus features that make it a viable alternative to the ZV-1, if you want to experiment with different lenses and vocal lengths. The ZV-E10 uses the same 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor as many of its A6000 series siblings, which is both good and bad. 
When compared to its smaller sensor competitors, it has a large sensor that produces impressive video and photo quality for the price, especially in low light. Still, there is an electronic steady shot to smooth handheld jitters, along with great software features like Product Showcase that we saw on the ZV-1. The ZV-E10 autofocus is also best in class at this price. So if you don't mind those aforementioned limitations and want a flexibility of interchangeable lenses, it's a great new option for vloggers. Number 6. GoPro Hero 10 Black The GoPro Hero 10 Black does not reinvent the action camera, with the same small sensor, screens, and shell as the GoPro Hero 9 Black before it. However, it provides a more refined experience than its predecessor, making it the most versatile action camera available to daring vloggers. The new GP2 processor ensures polished performance, while a snappier touchscreen interface and menu system make it much easier to use. The chip boosts 5K frame rates to 60 FPS for smoother vlogs, while 4K at up to 120 FPS enables sharper slow motion footage for enthralling cutscenes. Stabilization gets an upgrade too, with HyperSmooth 4.0 and Horizon leveling on board for supremely steady footage, even if you're swaying at angles of 45 degrees. Live streaming is still subject to some limitations, YouTubers need at least 1000 subs, but you can now stream with HyperSmooth 4.0 enabled. Number 7. Panasonic GH5 Mark II The original Panasonic GH5 became a legend due to its combination of class-leading 4K video specs and a small, affordable body with IBIS. The GH5 Mark II does not significantly improve in the existing formula, but it does add one particularly useful feature, wireless live streaming. With the Panasonic GH6 being the true upgrade to the GH5 in terms of video quality, live streaming is the GH5 Mark II's main focus, and it works well. Streaming to YouTube and Facebook is simple thanks to the Lumix Sync app's built-in options. But you can also stream to other sites like Twitch, thanks to its support for the standard RTMP, RTMPS protocol. Streaming quality is limited to 1080p and the GH5 Mark II's autofocus still lags behind the best, but it's perfectly serviceable in most situations in the camera's other specs. Number 8. Fujifilm X-T200 the Fujifilm X-T200 is an appealing entry-level camera with a lot to offer vloggers. The X-T200 features the familiar retro-styling of the X-Series, as well as a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor that captures uncropped video at 30p by downsampling from 6K footage. The results are noticeably more detailed and dynamic than the camera's 1080p efforts. It's a shame that digital image stabilization is only available in Full HD. But if you use a lens with built-in IS, you won't notice the difference. While the X-T200 can record 1080p video at up to 120 frames per second, the new HDR video mod, which combines multiple frames to improve dynamic range, is only available at 60 frames per second. Number 9. DJI Action 2 The DJI Action 2 is unlike any other action camera. If you don't mind recording relatively short clips, think 5 minutes at a time its tiny, modular form factor is ideal for on-the-go vloggers. If you want to see yourself in the frame while recording, you'll need to purchase the dual screen combo bundle, which includes an additional magnetic module that snaps onto the base plug and provides a front facing screen. The modular design of the Action 2 means that you can always remove it and turn it back into a wearable 64 grams camera. Despite its tiny size, the Action 2's camera actually contains a larger 1 to 1.7 inch sensor than the one on the GoPro Hero 10 Black, and we were impressed by the quality of its 4K video in daylight conditions. On its own, this camera module is also waterproof down to 10 meters. Number 10. Canon EOS M50 Mark II It's a shame Canon didn't give the EOS M50 Mark II a bigger update than its predecessor, but it's still a good 1080p video option for anyone just getting started with vlogging. The main changes are IAF for stills and video, which works well for an entry-level model, and the ability to shoot vertical video for platforms such as Instagram. However, if you're only interested in shooting 1080p video, the M50 Mark II is a good choice thanks to its combination of a large 24.1 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, very angled touchscreen, microphone input, and compact form factor. Thank you for watching.